Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how I paint melons with in acrylics. So first thing you're going to need is the paint. Um, I use acrylic Liquitex Heavy Body. The Heavy Body is good for mountains. It's thicker. It's thicker than the regular paint. It's kind of like oil, but not as thick as oil. Um, I mean, you could use these, but uh, if you this, that's what you have. But if you can get a hold of these, then uh, I would recommend doing that. Next thing you'll need is uh, a palette. This is my palette that I use to spread the paint. And but uh, you could use anything you have around. I mean, you could use cardboard. You could use this part. You could use watercolor paper as your palette. In some stores you even can get paper that is actually paper palette so once you're done using it on on the uh, paper you can just throw it away. Yeah but I, I use that one because that's what I have. But you know paper will do uh, thick paper, cardboard. Next up of course is uh, your brushes. Uh, I use, only you only need a few brushes for mountains. Um, I only use a palette knife which you can get at any art store. Um, for the mountain, I just use a palette knife and uh, soft, a soft brush like this. Um, and that's pretty much all you need. Um, you could have one small brush too, just for outlining if you need to, but um, I never have to use that. Just, uh, you know, use what you have. That's what I do. You just use what you have. If you don't have it, you sh that shouldn't stop you from making art. Just do it. Due to copyrighted content, my video was deleted off of YouTube. I had some copyrighted music playing in the background. That's why they took it off. So the rest of this tutorial will be voiced in. To what I was saying, uh, you can use anything for this tutorial, uh, canvas, watercolor paper, acrylic paper. I just wouldn't recommend using, um, you know, like printer paper, it's a little thin. So watercolor paper, acrylic paper, or canvas will do. You even can make your own canvases if you want, um, I just buy one from the store. Next thing you'll need is a palette. Uh, I just have this plastic palette. Um, it's pretty old, but you can use anything for a palette. You can use paper, you can just throw the paper away when you're done using it, or you can use cardboard. Next is the paint that you'll be using. Uh, I use the colors blue, red, white, black, and brown. You don't need to use the brown um, or the red. So as you can see, I have my colors on my palette. For this part, just grab a soft brush. Um, dip it in some blue and white and then go to the top left corner of the sky on the canvas and do some crisscross strokes this is the third time I had to upload this video because they keep taking it off please forgive the wind in this mic this is the first time I've used this mic to record anything. What I'm doing here is using crisscross strokes to define the sky. When painting skies, the top of the canvas should be dark blue and then as it goes towards the horizon, it becomes lighter and lighter. This tutorial was requested by a friend. Uh, she wanted me to do a mountain tutorial, so I was quite happy to do it. So thank you for that. Next, take your palette knife and dip it in black, blue, 
red, brown, all the dark colors you have on your palette, and just mix it up really well. And once you're done mixing it up, then you just take a slice across that paint, and you just decide where you want to put the mountain in your painting. Um, I usually put it in the middle, but for this tutorial I did it to the left. Uh, but you know, your painting do it you. Once you decided where to put the mountain, then just use some defining strokes to show where your mountain is. Um, right here it goes by feel pretty much. Just do what you want. Now take a soft brush and you just soften up all those parts of the mountain and make it real soft. Except the edges of the mountain, keep the edges nice and dark and black to define the mountain. And then bring those down just in case you want to have a lake, which I feel you'll have reflection in the water. For this next part, I grab some white and you do what you did with the mountain you figure out where your light source is and then begin putting the white very softly on the canvas for snow make sure you're holding your knife very gently very softly just hold it with two fingers and just slide it across if you do it too hard it'll ruin your painting i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you try it Alright, thank you for watching, I'll catch you guys next time.